Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel for another episode of Messy to Minimal, where I go through each room in my house, clear it all out, reorganize, do a deep dive declutter, and then hopefully be able to get rid of some things to keep the number of items in my home to just what we use and what is functional for us. Today, I am in the living room. This space needs a bit of reorganization. I need to rethink the way I do things. I've got a linen closet over there that still has baby items in it and my baby is almost three and this closet over here in our entry could really use an overhaul we're gonna get to that in a little bit but guys it's seriously bad and then i just have some general decluttering to do around the rest of this space i'm also going to be tackling the homeschool shelves that i have here kind of around this corner i thought i'd lump that into this video as well just to give you a little bit extra uh decluttering motivation and some organizing minimalism inspiration if you're excited for this series and you enjoy this video while you're watching it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this if you missed my kitchen declutter and organize video then i will have that linked in the description box for you that was episode one of my messy to minimal series and i do have to say everyone has a different definition of minimalism but for us it is all about having items in our home that actually get used that actually serve a purpose and so that is my mindset going into tackling the living room So Miss Haley Wren is not feeling well. She's a little under the weather, so she's watching Cinderella, my favorite Disney princess. And if, I mean, if you're looking for cleaning motivation, you can't get any better than Cinderella and when she's cleaning all those stairs and the floors and singing. That's the ultimate cleaning motivation. But I'm gonna get started. I just have to tidy up in here, just do a general tidy. We have random things, <laughs> a pull up socks from the kids, random boxes and stuff, and then I am gonna get to decluttering, organizing, and getting this place under control. Okay, so I'm starting off the decluttering and purging with the most dreaded part of this whole room, which is my kids' toy collection that they keep out here. We have acquired more toys over the holidays, that's to be expected, and I did a huge declutter of their toys before Christmas time, and I'm so glad that I did, because I would literally be drowning in a mountain of toys right now, but this is kind of like a, a foothill of toys. We do try to keep our kids' toys more on the minimal side. We rotate through different kinds of toys throughout the year, and that makes not just us happy as the parents in our more like clutter-free space, but it also really makes our kids happy. They play so much better when they have fewer options and when the number, like the quantity of toys that they have is more on the lower side. And right now, we're getting up to the higher side when it comes to the number of toys we have and these drawers, these four drawers are just a little bit disorganized. They're kind of mixed in together and I just need to go through everything, find anything broken or like random pieces of paper and socks and stuff that end up in these drawers and just clean it all out, reorganize them into their four categories and then put them back in these cube units. So we have these two, two cube units on either side of the piano here and this holds the toys that they keep in our living space. The boys have bigger like Paw Patrol vehicles in their bedroom. They also have a collection of books in their bedroom. That's going to be another organization project for another time. Stay tuned for that video. And Haley has a kitchen set in her bedroom, some play food, as well as all of like her baby doll supplies. So that's what's kept in the kids' rooms. And in the living room, we just have like wooden trains. We have plastic blocks. We have a little drawer of books and then a drawer of play food. Like that's our main collection of play food. So those are the four categories that I'm going to be sorting through. And I hope you guys get some motivation from this because oh, I could use some motivation right now.
Okay, so these two cube units are all organized out and I will give you a little tour of that at the end when I give you a tour of all the stuff that I organized. But now before I go pick up the boys from pre-K, I hope I can get through this closet. And it's a doozy. There is so much in this closet that we just simply don't use. I am thinking I'm gonna be able to get rid of a good amount of stuff. Down here I just have like sewing stuff. We have some like beach towels, our everyday towels. I have some like everyday smaller towels. And then this is where I store like extra linens, sheets, blankets, extra pillows and stuff like that. And then tucked behind some of this stuff and like sneaky underneath is just some like baby stuff. And I think there's even like bottles of shampoo and some products back there. So I just need to give this thing a major overhaul. This is looking so much better, so much more organized. Let me show you the pile of stuff that I got rid of. Get down. I have it folded here hey. in this basket, a couple of extra Good baskets back. there. And just like I said in the last video, when I say I'm getting rid of something, it doesn't mean that I'm just trashing it, like throwing it away or taking it to the dump. Um, my sister Anna is getting married in a couple of months. I'm gonna be passing some stuff on to her, whatever she doesn't want, I will either donate. And then the true like actual trash just is in that little box over there. I'm feeling so much better. I've gotten so much accomplished so far. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. As for right now, Haley and I are gonna head out and go pick up the boys from their pre-K class. And then after I'm done doing all the lunch and the playtime and cuddling with the kids a little bit, I'm gonna tackle that entry closet. So stay tuned. Home again, home again. The boys are back from class and they're gonna play at the back table with some kinetic sand. And I'm gonna tackle this entry closet. Okay, so we are going to be going into this closet which, oh my gosh, you guys, it's embarrassing. It is, it's gotten so bad. I was so tempted to tidy this before I started recording, but I am always real with you guys, and I'm not gonna stop that now. This is so bad. So this is our shoe rack right now. We've had this for about a year and a half, I wanna say, and it's horrible. It does not work very well. I always am trying to make improvements in how we organize things, and shoes, are my Achilles heel, no pun intended. We also have our coats hanging in here. Um, they go over to this side, but there's definitely more room on the rack. And then on the floor here, we have a bunch of shoes that have fallen down and then like our vacuum that we kind of just stick on top or shove in if we can. I have a diaper bag and some stuff up here. These bins up here just need to be gone through and re-tidied and I am ready to get this under control.
as you guys saw, I have sorted out our uh, shoes by person. Here are my shoes, and these are just like my most worn pairs that I need to get out the door with. These are the boys' shoes, and I keep them all together since they have like matching styles. And then Haley's shoes are in here, and Weston's shoes are in here. So I've gone through what I know uh, shoes that don't fit the kids anymore as well as a couple of pairs of shoes of mine that I no longer want or need so that is here and I'm gonna possibly add to this bag with some pairs of shoes from Weston I just pulled these out to have him go through because I feel like I haven't seen him wear these specific pairs for a while and hopefully we can get rid of some because men have big feet there's only one two three four pairs of shoes in here <laughs> compared to Haley's copious amounts of shoes that fit. Right now, I'm going to put these drawers in the four cube unit, hang stuff up, go through the stuff that's hanging, um, and put that back in there, and then get our donation stuff taken care of and find some spots for the rest of these things and, and kind of go through this junk. Now that the entry closet is done, I'm just gonna wrap around the back side of this wall and quickly take care of this little school, like homeschool area that I have. Doesn't really need to be reorganized as far as like what to keep and what needs to go. There's just a bunch of random things placed here and I just really want to tidy it up and then hopefully along the way find some things that I can part with. The day after I film this video, I'm actually filming a Valentine's coffee recipes video and I have a lot of the ingredients and stuff in this box. So I've just kind of got to reorganize everything. One more spot left to declutter and organize and that is our little entertainment center. It's not too bad in there, but if I'm doing this project, I might as well dive in there and tidy it all up. And the bottom panel of it is actually fallen down and broken out. Weston has a board, like a block of wood under there holding it up. It's not a hazard to the kids, but this is definitely something that we want to get a sturdier piece of furniture like in this area. But I'm just gonna go into the cabinet, organize it all out, and then give you guys the tour of the different spaces that I organized today. Um, and it's just in time for me to make dinner, but first I'm going to give you the tour of everything that I organized. Let's start with these uh, little cube units with the kids' toys since that was the first thing that I organized. So I won't stay too long here because you guys probably saw it. We have plastic toys in there, um, some like blocks and Hot Wheels and stuff, and then we have wooden train tracks, and then other little wooden things. Actually, this is wood, but it doesn't belong in here because that's for play food. 
Over here, we have the play food, which um, we have more of this, but some of it's in Haley's room right now. And then here we have the collection of books that we are currently reading through right now. And if there's anything I'm not a minimalist about, it's books, and I ain't apologizing for that. And then the linen closet. I wanna show you what I did in here. The layout is pretty much the same. It's just completely organized now, and I got rid of so much. So up here, I have extra throw pillows. I'm actually thinking about keeping my seasonal throw pillows and stuff in the top of this closet. Um, I just think it will take better care of the textiles and just how they look and how they smell. I also have our um, blush colored set of linen sheets for our master bed in there, um, and then some extra pillow covers. Then the next shelf down. This little basket here is like um, hot packs. I have a hot water bottle, a rice, homemade like little rice pack. I have this other gel pack and then a tennis ball. I'm looking for the second tennis ball right now. Um, this is kind of like my period pain <laughs> management little thing or like if any of us have little aches and pains. All this stuff was loose, just in the closet in random spots. So I'm glad it has a home now. And then these are things that I don't access very often, just like when I have people over, uh, like for a birthday party or Christmas party or something. So these are just um, tablecloths. And then we keep all of our kitchen towels now in the drawer that I organized when I did my kitchen declutter. So all of the kitchen towels go there. So this little stack is hand towels for our bathrooms. And then these are full-sized bath towels um, and I like to roll them. I think they just look a lot neater. We do all gray just to keep it easy. There's different styles mixed and matched throughout and I do have a couple that are still in the laundry right now that I think two more is going to be added to the collection. We go through so many towels. We don't have just one towel per person in our family. With little kids we definitely need more than that but we don't need as much as we had earlier. So I think this is a reasonable number for us. And then I have just this basket of beach towels. Like if we go to the pool or to the beach, um, there's more than the number of people in our family, but if cousins or friends join us, I definitely want extra beach towels. And then this is microfiber cloths. And then down here, this is where my sewing machine is stored. I don't use it very often, um, but for little hemming jobs or little tailoring or altering that I need to do, it's so nice to have one. So I have that with some yard goods in there. And then here is like my smaller sewing supplies. So I have like a rotary cutter, my pins and needles and stuff like that. And then over here I have some vacuum seal bags that I'm just storing there. So this closet is looking absolutely lovely. Now I'm gonna show you what I did over in this closet. This is looking so much better. This makes me so happy. So we have a drawer for the boys' shoes, a drawer for Haley's shoes, we have Weston's shoes in there, and my shoes in there. I have my diaper bags there, and um, just this little bin with to-go stuff. So if I need like a baby changing kit, I have a first aid kit. Always need a pack of wipes, although I didn't need 12 packs of wipes like I found. Um, a pair of gloves, some of these little reusable shopping, baguitos, an umbrella, but let's face it, Seattle people don't really ever use umbrellas. We're just kind of immune to the rain. And then I have some of the kids' coats hung up here. I'm gonna find more of them when I go through their closets. Um, but this is what I have up here for now. And then I have just a couple of my coats. Oh, here's one of Haley's coats. We'll put that back there. So here are my most worn coats. And then back through here, Weston has his few coats. I think Weston and I each only have one actual winter coat and then a couple of other like more fashion-y sort of coats um, and then like a sweatshirt. Haley, where's your drawer? Yay, there it is. You know where it is. Good job. And this is Bubba. That's Bubba's. And this is Mama. Uh-huh. Yeah, I should have you give the tour. And then on this side, I have I have a bag of bags, like reusable shopping bags in here. I have some extra hangers here from stuff that I purged out. And then I have a TV tray 
that I like to keep in here for if we're eating in the living room, if Weston and I are doing that. I have a spot for my vacuum, which feels great. Another bag of bags, some like extra reusable shopping bags, and then a couple of pairs of boots. These are one of Weston's work boots, and then my winter boots. I was thinking about getting like a little boot rack, maybe to attach to the side of this cube unit so that we can store them on that. But um, I think I'm gonna put this little bag of bags back there and call that good, so much better. So that's what I did in the entry closet and now wrapping around to over here. It's just looking a lot cleaner, more tidy. I was able to get rid of a couple of things, which is good and took a bunch of stuff back to bedrooms and just random places that didn't belong here. Yes, I have laundry to do. And then here in the entertainment center thing, I just tidied up in here. It was just looking a little crazy. I see Haley has deposited some chip crumbs into there, which I should probably vacuum. I just vacuumed everything. I have just a little bit of workout stuff here, our Nintendo Switch, some of our DVDs, some more of our DVDs up here, and then router and modem there. I was able to get rid of a few things in there, and um, I saw that I had this basket here that just had a bunch of random stuff that I no longer used, and you get used to seeing something day after day, and you don't even realize how it could be improved until you kind of like take a different look, a little different perspective on it. So I was able to clear out a huge spot on here and it looks so much more clean and minimal up here on top of the entertainment center underneath the TV. Really like how this turned out. I have three blankets in here and the kids have pulled out a couple more and try as I might, but I cannot keep the pillows on my couch arranged or straightened at all. I, I don't even try during the day. I just kind of rearrange them at night after everyone goes to bed. But the living room is looking so much more clean, so much more minimal, so much more organized, and I am so happy with how everything turned out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this messy to minimal episode. Thank you so much for coming along with me while I tackled the living room and reorganized, decluttered, and got everything to a much more manageable state. Again, minimalism for us doesn't necessarily mean living with just a couple of things, but making sure that the stuff that we do keep in our home is meaningful, has a purpose, and actually gets used on a regular basis. I feel like I accomplished that today here in the living room, and I'm so excited to tackle the rest of my house. And if you are tackling a decluttering project, I would love to see that and get inspiration from you. So be sure to tag me over on Instagram. I'm at Natalie Bennett Vlogs. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and turn that bell button on so you don't miss future messy to minimal episodes as well as my other lifestyle and mommy videos I put out on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.